Okay, here's a little video on how to calibrate the Dual O2 Plus Map Enhancer. First thing we do is we need a power supply, which is this, which is coming to the unit that's at least 5 volts DC, but no more than 16 or 17 volts DC. Mine happens to be 10 volts DC. So I attach up my leads here. Second lead in is negative. Third lead in red, I put red as uh, positive supply to the unit. So I attach my positive leads, my, my, my supply leads, and I'll take this switch, which just turns on the hydrogen generator, and you'll see the LED turn on. Now to test to see if that's working, I take the, the uh, negative of my voltmeter, attach it to the negative, take the positive of the voltmeter, attach it to this. That's the output for the relay for the hydrogen generator. And you see it's putting out 9.9 .9 or 10 volts. So I know that the electricity is going through. If I shut it off, the LED goes out and the voltage drops off to zero because this turns the voltage on to the relay. Now I need to test to see if the O2 sensors are working properly. So these are both O2 sensor outs, outputs. So first I'll attach to this one. And now I have to turn on the enhancer box, which is this switch here. I have to tell you that when you're soldering this switch, this switch is extremely sensitive. You should only use a 15 watt soldering iron, and your soldering iron shouldn't be on the tabs for more than a third of a second. If it is, you're liable to melt the contacts inside. Be very, very careful when soldering this, these switches in. I test every one before they go out, and every one's good. Please don't melt the switch. So you, you turn this on. You see the LED comes on, and you see the pulse of the O2 sensor. It automatically starts pulsing. So I can turn this down until it reads a high pulse of about 0.9. Okay, so I'm going to turn it until it's about 0 0.9, 0 0.96, 0 0.90, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to look at the low pulse. The low pulse should be around 0.2. If the low pulse is higher or lower than 0.2 when you, after you set it up for the first time, or maybe it's not pulsing at all, that just means that this little trim potentiometer isn't tuned properly. You'll have to turn it one way or the other to make it pulse the proper amount. So I can do that here. There. Now it's pulsing from 0.9 to 0.2, and that's the proper amount. That one's set. Now I can go to the other O2 sensor output. Turn this potentiometer down until it reads 0.9 at the high point. Okay, and that one's going 0.9 to 0.2. That's perfect. Next thing to do would be just to measure the resistance between the MAP wire and the ECU wire here. And that would be done here. Just so happens that my ohm meter doesn't work on my uh, voltmeter right now. Oh, wait a minute, make a liar out of me. It's starting to work. But yeah, it doesn't work. So, uh, this is all you do. Measure the resistance between these two pins, and uh, and that's it. That's how you ca set up and calibrate the unit. The switches are wired. This this one is a double pull, double throw switch, but I've nipped off three of the contacts, and you only have to use these two end ones or these two end ones, whichever ones you want. One way the switch will be on, one way it'll be off. Same thing with this. Um, make sure that you use the left side terminals for the two wires, left side terminals, the middle and left, and for the, these three, you use all three. So one way it will be off, the other way on. And it's that simple, and that's it. Next thing you have to do is insert your whole board into a box and uh, make it look pretty. That's it. Have a good day.